Hi, welcome to Roy Reviews Root Beer. If you like root beer as much as I do, you're in the right place. Today, that place is at my brother's house. And uh, with my nephews, he's got me something. You want to tell him what this is? It's root beer. <laughs> it's a uh, Russian root beer. There's a really good Russian deli uh, near where my brother works. And he went in and they sold him this, telling him it's Russian root beer. And uh, he knows that I spent some time teaching him Russia. So what a great gift. This is kvass which do you remember like on like the beginning of the channel i asked what is root beer like how do you define root beer i still don't have the answer for that philosophical question yeah, it's roots. I don't know. <laughs> but uh this is kvass is uh fermented rye bread so they take bread and uh, they make a drink out of it and then they do the fermentation process and just before it gets alcoholic they stop the process and you get a bubbly fizzy drink that has been, it's a traditional drink um, in Russia and is often like made at home. Like it's a true, hey, let's make our own kvass. So in that regards, kvass is to Russians as root beers to Americans. Yes, this is a Russian root beer. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> is it, it's good? Probably not. drink fermented bread? Yes. So I, I don't good. remember ever drinking it in Russia, but I definitely can distinctly remember the smell. I don't know if that many Russians drink it, but so kvass monastirsky. It's a monastery kvass. It's got a picture of a monk on it. And uh, if Kidaru beer were here, what would he say? I don't know. He's a weirdo. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's just drink it. Yeah. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> All right. And then he chugged the whole thing. <laughs> All right. So most right. fizzy drinks, I'll call them fizzy drinks um were fermented they were called small beers so even in the u.s especially in the colonial period people would make small beers which is they would flavor it and uh oh, they didn't smell it before it gets alcoholic Whoa. they would <laughs> it's weird they it's would like root beer, but weird. smells like it they would uh, stop the fermentation yes. process that was called small beers so this is like a traditional small beer or a soft drink you guys wonder why sodas are called soft drinks here you go that's for you here we'll Start with the fuzz, the fizz. What do you think? Looks like a root That's beer? really fizzy. You guys like some? Root beer, yeah. I hope it tastes good. Now, kvass is fermented with That's the bread and then um, often flavored with Whoa. different fruits. So everybody has their own recipe for kvass. Fizz. Oh, you didn't give it me? <laughs> it does smell. So it's often fizz. fruit or honey is used to flavor it. And I didn't read all the ingredients, but all right. Smile at the camera and let's see if you like it. I won't drink it. I'm scared. It's like bad. it's soury though. It's really not sour. Oh no. <laughs> See, that's why I have yeah, No, but definitely. there's definitely a fruity flavor, right? Mm -hmm. It well, this is. It's weird. Definitely. All right, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I want some more sweetness. You know, it tastes so much like fruit. I'd say it's sweeter than a lot of other root beers. Yeah. But not creamy. Like yeah. I've described it as thin. Yeah. Like yeah. Al almost like watery. I agree with that. Ugh. Got kind of sour almost. Yeah, it tastes like vinegar. It's like yeah. vinegar yeah. fanta. Yeah, I remember I was having a soup in Taiwan and we asked if it had any alcohol in it. Because it burned our noses when we tried to eat it. And they're like, no, no, it's vinegar. I'm like, oh man, they must have just made this straight out of vinegar. Mm. And then it turned out they came back like, oh, we're sorry, we meant rice wine. Rice wine. <laughs> And the kvass is used to make soups in Russia. They'll like use it as a base, and uh, and so they were using rice wine as a base. But yeah, it tastes like vinegar. That's probably that little bit of alcohol you're tasting. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> spices? Don't Do you think it's spicy? No. No. I'll give it like a one. And bitter. Uh, six. 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 A little bit bitter. bitter. Yeah, it's sweet and bitter. That's kind of oxymoronic, right? Yeah. Overall enjoyment. How much do you want to try it again? Not really at Five. all. Five. I would, but I would not enjoy it. <laughs> would you go out and buy it at the store every time you see it? Like, oh, I need some kvass? If or is I it more like a treat it, at Russian parties? If I saw it, then maybe I would buy it. It's more like I would drink it to make the Russian guy feel good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, this is good. Uh, they, so it was in 2011 that they changed the alcohol content level laws in Russia. Before 2011, beer was non-alcoholic. And if it was less than 10% alcohol per volume, 
then it was non-alcoholic. Mm-hmm. And so they changed it, I think, for tax reasons. So it they feels start weird in my mouth. Taxing more it. drinks. Yeah. But yeah, so we used to call this, I heard them call it like kids' beer. And it's like, kids' beer? It's like, gosh, I don't mind it, but it does. It's like cringe. Uh, Same yeah. disgusting dirty beer. Yeah. It, oh, that's my mouth stuff. feels weird. Yeah, yeah, it's called a buzz. It's <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. It was an experience. Oh, I like how it's, I, it's not as bad as it's I not thought. Horrible. I like how it's 70 proof. Yeah, this is made in Ukraine it. and then imported through New York. And so if there, it says non alcoholic on it, so I mean, in oh, the U.S., yeah. that means it's usually less than half a percent alcohol content. And beer is usually at five percent, so this is non-alcoholic. Nope. What?